Hey guys, Bojo here, and we are back with our Columbus Blue Jackets GM mode. So I believe last episode we did a two-parter, or at least I split it up into two parts, where we were basically kind of rebuilding the Blue Jackets a little bit, making some trades, and uh, I'll go check out those some of those trades actually right now on our line. So I believe we did make only two trades last time. So we made a trade for Cody Hodgson from the Buffalo Sabres to be a new second-line center, maybe soon to be a first-line center to play with Ryan Johansson. Uh, in the near future. So we made that trade for uh, Cody Hodgson. And we also made another trade for a playmaker in Evgeny Kuz Kuznetsov, or Kuznetsov. So Kuznetsov, Kuznetsov. I still have to for remember how to say this guy's goddamn name. You guys told me how to say it, and I still can't say it right. So Evgeny Kuznetsov, a uh, 80 overall, 4.5 red star playmaker from the Washington Capitals. Got him for literally dirt cheap. So we made pretty much all the kind of trades that I wanted to do. Um... I'm still going to keep hold of Horton, even though a bunch of you guys were telling me to trade. I'm going to hold on to him for a little bit because we're under salary. We can hold on to it. Now, there's two more players I do still want to trade, and that would be Nick Schultz and James Wisniewski and maybe um, maybe Nikita Nikitin as well. But we're going to hold off on those guys. I may want to try to make one more final trade with James Wisniewski to another team that might be able to take him. But for Nick Schultz, we're going to hold on to him till the trade deadline comes, and then we're going to see if we can maybe... I get a certain, maybe a, a draft pick for Nick Schultz. Same thing with Wisniewski. If we can get a draft pick for him, just stock up on some draft picks for uh, the first uh, draft year, that should be good because um, first year drafting is always good. And Wisniewski, like I said, he might be harder to trade. Same thing with Nick Keaton. But Nick Schultz, we're going to wait till the trade deadline to trade him away. But because, you know, we're going to, we're probably, we're pretty much. Uh, banking on tanking this year so I'll see if I can make one more final trade here see if I can make a trade for somebody maybe like a prospect sniper or something like that for James Wisniewski but other than that I don't think so because Nick Schultz's trade value is actually pretty dang good he's on one year left that's why I want to wait to the trade deadline because for a team that may want to make a playoff run trade him away and uh we can maybe get a draft pick back for him. The Keaton's trade value is god awfully low, so we don't think we're going to trade him. But with Newski, we definitely can. 5.5 for 4 mil. Four, five, 29 years old, 5.5 mil for another four years is definitely not something I want to hold on to for that much longer. So I definitely want to try to get him out of here now. So let's see what teams are interested in him and have got the salary cap room to make it happen. So there's a lot of teams interested in him. That's good. Uh, let's see. So we have 15 mil under we're 15 mil under cap uh, are we allowed to be 15 mil under cap I don't even know I don't think so I feel we're not allowed to be 15 million dollars under the cap but the Islanders do have a lot of cap room so maybe we can make a trade with them even though they're in the Eastern Conference maybe we can get somebody back from New York uh, they do have a lot of pretty good young players on this team like uh, Brock Nielsen, he's a power forward. That wouldn't be bad, but like I said, I'm looking for snipers. Strom wouldn't be bad. Now, Ryan Strom, he is also a playmaker as well. Prospect playmaker. I would definitely throw him in the AHL. 20 years old, 77 overall. Not bad. Ryan Strom, there's an idea. Uh, is Josh Bailey or Franz Nielsen a sniper? Josh Bailey is a playmaker. He's got three and a half green stars. And Franz Nielsen is a playmaker as well. So Islanders have a lot of young playmakers, which is good. Pulak and Pelic and uh, Pelic and Griffin Reinhardt not as well. Uh, Anders Lee, Tomas Hickey, they'd probably be taking a lot longer. Anders Lee will probably take a while to get better. Uh, actually, he's 79 overall, 23 years old. I'd rather go after like a Brock Nielsen or a Josh Bailey or a Ryan Strom in that and uh, that aspect. But the Islanders do have the room, which is good. Nashville, they don't want Wisniewski, but they have the cap room. Let's see if there's anybody on Nashville I could maybe grab up. Low trade value, like a low trade value with a pretty good uh, overall. Joshua Shala? Yeah, Joshua Shala, I know him. He probably doesn't get that great. Uh, Matthias Ekholm. Matthias Ekholm might not be a bad choice for a prospect defenseman. Two-way defenseman. Okay. He's got no trade value, basically, so we can maybe take that trade. Nick Spalling as well, a good depth player to have. Eh, not really. 79 overall, not the greatest. Uh, Ironhook, or John Croc, whatever the hell we want to say. Colin Smith's trade value is really low. Hornquist, Watson, uh, Delzato, Forsberg, Philippe Forsberg, maybe? 
He a sniper? No, he's a playmaker. A lot of playmakers, man. I want some snipers on this team. Uh, Minnesota, they, like I said, they got the room. Grandland? Nah, I don't think Wisniewski's thing is up to Grandland status. Uh, it's more over, like, it's more like need a rider status. And even then, I don't know if I want need a rider or not, even though he is a sniper. You know, need a rider. Hmm. 80 overall sniper. Can maybe be that good third line presence. He's got a good shot already. I wouldn't be against that. Nino need a rider. Let's see. Uh, no, that's right. No cap. Florida, they have cap. Oh, yeah, I got to turn injuries off as well. Ooh, good thing I saw that. Uh, Bugstad, Howden Petrovic, Brian Campbell. No, we're not going to go for that. Colby Robach. Colby Robach's the two way defenseman. Defensive prospect. Wouldn't be terrible. How good? What's Florida looking like draft pick wise? Because their team that's draft pick is really low. I remember last time there was a team whose draft pick was really, really low, but they didn't have the cap room. Um, let's see. Boston, though. Anaheim, they have two. Winnipeg, no. Washington, Vancouver, Toronto, Tampa, St. Louis, San Jose, Pittsburgh. Phoenix, Philly, Ottawa, they have their second. New York Rangers, Islanders, they don't have it. One, they have two first, second round picks, so that's not bad. I can maybe steal those two up for like a prospect or something like that. Jersey, no. Nashville, no. Montreal, no. Minnesota, no. LA, no. Florida, was it Detroit? No, it's not. I don't even know who it is. But we could probably just hold on to Wisniewski, trade him at the deadline, although I kind of want to get rid of him now. All right, so let me look again for teams with... Cap room. A lot of cap room that could take him. Buffalo. We already made a trade with Buffalo. Calgary. Let's see. Calgary. Backland. Michael Backland. Ben Hanowski. Let's see what Ben Hanowski can do. Uh, Max Reinhardt. Be a good prospect. Maybe get like Reinhardt and like a second round pick for somebody. Can you get one of these nice like low end uh, players like Colburn Knight? Who's this, this Knight guy? Corbin Knight. Um, I'd rather get like Max Reinhardt. Max Reinhardt is a two way forward. Yeah, we already have enough two way forwards on this team though. Hanowski eh, is kind of low end. Any defenseman? TJ Brody. Sealoff is a Sealoff guy. Uh, Patrick Sealoff. Nah, not too full of that. Butler, who's this Butler guy? Chris Butler, always 26. Never mind. Weatherspoon, okay. There's some options on Calgary. Uh, Carolina, we would need to take somebody back with some sort of salary. Uh, let me just get all skaters. Uh, Elias Lindholm. I don't know how good Elias Lindholm gets. He's 72, super sweet. Uh, let's see, uh, Talusti, Falk, Nathan Gerby, no, L Loktyanov, uh, is that, that's Eric Carlson, it's not the right Eric Carlson, it's a different Eric Carlson, um, Brock McGinn, no, Dallas, nope, 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 okay, so, let's see if we can make a trade with the New York Islanders, so I can take one of their second round picks, Let's see, if I take, who's going to be a worse team, New York or the Montreal Canadiens? Definitely the Islanders. So, let's see if I can make a trade with the Islanders for... Calvin DeHaan wouldn't be bad, too, because he's a uh, top two defen uh, defenseman, offensive defenseman. 22, three and a half gold stars. You know what? I wouldn't be against that. DeHaan... Or could I try Strom? I'll try Strom in there. So I'll try Ryan Strom. That's way too much. I could tell Ryan Strom's uh, uh, his uh, trade value is way over that. Uh, was Newski? I could throw maybe Nikitin in as well. I could throw Nikitin in there, and then they're not going to be under salary because they need another player back. I don't know who I could throw in there. Maybe like Anders Lee or Hickey. I could throw Hickey in there. Because Nikitin has a Hickey covered, right? Yeah. Nikitin definitely has a Hickey covered. 
Oh, no, let's try this. Let's try it and see if this goes through. So, James Wisniewski and Nikita Nikitin for a second-round pick. Ryan Strom and Thomas Hickey from the New York Islanders. I doubt this will go through, but let's see. Will it go through? Uh, woefully insufficient. All right, so let's chop off Nikitin. We'll chop off Hickey. We will chop off Strom for right now, and we'll throw in uh, Dahan. We'll throw in Calvin Dahan. This is a good trade, I think, personally, in my opinion. So, Wisniewski for... A second. I'll try to get both seconds. If I can't get both seconds, then I'll just uh, I'll just take the um, the the Islanders second, not Montreal second. So let's see if this goes through. So James Wisniewski for Calvin DeHaan and two second round picks. Will this go through? Uh, too far off. Okay, I'll just take off Montreal second. All right. So how about this? Calvin DeHaan and a second for James Wisniewski. Will this go through? That's it, Dale. On behalf of the New York Islanders organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out there on the ice. Okay. So cool. We got rid of James Wisniewski. And got a second round pick in return for the Islanders and got a pretty good prospect uh defenseman in uh in uh, where is he? Is he on the team? Yeah, he's probably on the team. And Calvin DeHaan. So that's not bad. My only top two, we can throw him down there in the Myers. And uh so now our defense looks like Schultz, Johnson, Nikitin, Murray, Erickson, and uh well DePon will actually have to play, so that's not too terrible. Because we're gonna tank this year anyway. Alright, so just gonna do best lines. And I think that's basically it. There's nobody else I really want to trade. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I want to trade. Okay, cool. We have $14 million worth of salary cap left. So we have a lot of shit left. Uh, we'll go into free agency, see if there's anything we could pick up. Prospect-wise, because it's always good. All right, so uh, Linus Omark. No, we're not going to deal with that. Like it then no, we're not going to grab out the Red Star guys because they just don't get better and there's no point in picking them up, even though we do have room. Uh, Kuhn Hockel, no. Let's go for defensemen. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of good defensemen in there. Matt Conan, uh, Levy, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm going to leave off on Levy, but this guy looks new. Um, what's his name? Michael, or Mikael Wickstrand? Yeah, why not? He's 19 years old, 54 overall. Why not? I'll sign him. Let's see if I can get him. Uh, Petrecki, no, 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 no. Oh, and I'll, I'll leave off on Dahan. I want to get that new guy because he seems... I haven't seen his name before. And goaltenders, any good goalies? Uh, McCollum, yeah, I'll just hold off on McCollum. We already have Dansk and uh, Jeremy Smith to worry about for goaltender, so we're fine. We are fine. All right, so let's edit the lines now. Actually, let's uh, simulate up today, see if uh, that guy signs with us. One more. And I started to reject your offer. Ah, we have a full roster. Okay. Well, we have a full roster of players. That means we need to get rid of some a an AHL player. Okay. Get rid of an AHL player. Uh, McNeil. Oh, you're actually high overall. I want to get somebody who's, like, really, really low overall. Uh, Meda Medaski. Yeah. Give him to Anaheim. Anaheim wants him anyway. Could maybe we'll steal him for somebody in return. Um... Somebody with a really, really low chain rail. Like Perot. Could we even get him for B Perot? Or Burleski? Could we even get him for, like, Mapaleski? This guy from Mapaleski? Uh, what will he's insufficient? I figured. Blacker? No. Okay. Clark? No. Benino? Okay, we'll just go for, go for a draft pick, fourth round pick for him. Uh, no, they can't take it. Okay, they can't take it then. Boston. Boston, give me a second for him. No, that's way too much. A fourth. Okay, they can't take him either. Buffalo. No. Calgary. No, you can't take him either. Jesus. Somebody have some roster spots? Colorado, do you have roster spots? No, you don't have roster spots either. Okay. Nobody has roster spots available. We'll go this way. Winnipeg. Okay, Winnipeg has room. Uh, fourth round pick from New Jersey. No. Fifth round pick. There you go. Okay, so fifth round pick for him. And then we'll go sign that guy in free agency and we'll plug him in once... Uh, well, he won't even need, really need to play anyway. So, um, defenseman. and then we'll sign him. There we go. Okay, now we'll just uh, edit our lines up. 
All right, so edit our lines, best lines, best lines. All right, so we want first line, Dubinsky, Johansson, and Nathan Horton. Second line, we want Hodgson, Felino, and they want Kustetsnov up there on the second line. Fine with that. Third line, they want Como, Anisimov, and Fratt. And I don't want Anisimov on that second line. I'd rather have him up here. Hodgson has 76 face-offs. What does Anisimov have? 75. I think Kustetsnov is actually considered a third-line player. If he's a third-line player, then I want to play him on that third line because... Uh, wow, actually they have a... Okay, so Horton's a first-liner. Okay, Johansson's a second-liner. That's fine if we put him on the first. Hodgson's a second. Good. Dubinsky's a second. Nisimov is actually a third-line scorer. Okay, so we'll, we can play him on the third line. Felino's third line. Jenner's third line. Como's third line. Kustetsnov is third line as well. Okay. Terrell, fourth line. Calver, fourth line. Uh, Mutre... Uh, yep, he's going to juniors. Uh, whoops, so forwards. Do we have every, all the forwards we need? I think we should have 12 forwards now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 12 forwards. And then defensemen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, so 6 guys. Cool beans. And then goaltenders, yep, Robrowski, McElhaney, McKenna, and Smith. Okay, so what was I looking at? Oh, yeah, uh, rolls. So Kostensov is a third liner. Fratton's a third liner. Terrell, fourth liner. Calvitt's a fourth liner. Okay, so one of the third line guys will definitely have to go to the fourth line. But that's not a big deal. Okay, so Johan uh, Dubinsky, Johansson, and Horton. Is Johansson have good face-offs? He have 70. I think Dubinsky has better face-offs. Indeed, he has. So I'll put Dubes in the center to play Johansson play the wing. Horton is left right-handed. Johansson is right-handed as well. Okay, so that's better for Johansson anyway. Okay, so Hodgson, Felino, and we could play either Kustetsnov up there or we could put Anisimov up there. Whatever we want to do. Yeah, we'll play. We'll let Kustetsnov play the second line. Why not? Third line, Como, Anisimov, and Fratton. And then Calvert, Jenner, and Terrell. I actually want to move Jenner up to the third line. He's a center, right? Yeah, he's a natural center, but Nisimov has the best face off set. All these guys. Indeed, he does. And then Fratton, Calvert, and Terrell. I think Terrell's a center, right? Terrell's the center, yeah, so we'll let him play there. Fratton can play the right. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that's what the lineup looks like. Defense, Schultz, Johnson, Nikitin, Murray, Erickson, and Dahan. Good with that. Uh, power play, we want to have Johansson. We don't have any snipers, so we might as well throw Matt Calvert on the power play. Okay, so Dubinsky, Johansson, and um, Kustensnov on the first line. And then Hodgson, Anisimov, and Horton, I guess. Is there any other like playmaker type person we could put on there? Not real. Oh, Calvert. Yeah, we want to put Calvert on there. Calvert's a sniper, so we can put him on there. I'll take uh, Horton off. I'll put Horton on the uh, penalty kill. But I'll throw... Where is Matt Calvert at? There he is. Matt Calvert. You can go over here. And he's going on the right. Johnson and Erickson. Dahan and Murray. Yep, that's fine with me. Okay, so four-man power play. Johansson and... Kustensnov. And then Hodgson and Dubinsky. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Dubinsky, uh, Dubinsky actually, Dubinsky and Calvert. Okay. Penalty kill. So they want Anisimov and Dubinsky, Johansson and Felino. Okay, I definitely don't want that. I want instead Dubinsky, even though Dubes has a good off. Let me see. Let me compare Dubes and Horton. 7, 5, 8, 8. 5, 3, 6. Okay, so we can put Horton on one of the lines. Felino's actually pretty decent. Actually, you know what? We'll let Horton not. We won't let Horton on the penalty kill. Dubinsky and Felino are actually really good. Uh, Johansson, though, I don't think I want Ryan Johansson in there. I think I'd rather want uh, center. Nisimov, yeah, I like him there. Our penalty kill might be good this year. And uh, who's another center I could put in there? I can either put Boone Jenner. Let me check out Cody Hodgson's. Hodgson's isn't that bad. Let me check out Jenner. Jenner, okay. Jenner's not there yet. Let me check out uh, Terrell. Dan Terrell. Okay, we'll throw Dan Terrell in there. Okay, so Anisimov, Dubinsky, uh, Terrell, and Felino. And then for the three-man penalty kill, we can put Anisimov and Dubinsky. Because Dubinsky's a center. And then Schultz, Johnson, Nikitin, and Murray. Yep. 
four on four, Johansson Horton, Hodgson Dubinsky, I'm not going to make any changes to that, Anissa Mofalino. Extra attacker, Nathan Horton and Jack Johnson we want. Actually, I want to put uh, Dubinsky and um, and Jack Johnson, wherever the hell he's at. Jack Johnson. Goaltenders, Bobrovsky, McElhaney. Shootouts, we want. Okay, so we want Johansson, Hodgson, Horton, Dubinsky, and Kutstensov. Yep, I'm fine with that. All right, so there's what the Blue Jackets lineup looks like. So we'll go over to Springfield now. Let's make sure, see if any players are supposed to be playing that are not playing. Uh, Weinberg needs to play, so we'll scratch somebody for him. Other than that, who are the main guys that are supposed to be playing? So Weinberg needs to play. Savard, Atkinson. Um, yeah, we'll play. We'll play this Thompson guy. We'll scratch somebody for Thompson and let him play. Other than that, I think everybody else is fine. Yeah, I think everybody else is good. Okay, so we just need to scratch somebody for Weinberg. Okay, so 62. Who should be scratched? I think this Hansen guy. Yeah, we'll scratch uh, Jake Hansen. If I can find him. All right, so we'll scratch Jake Hansen and we'll play Weinberg. Okay, and then I think we want to also want to play this Thompson guy, so we want to scratch somebody else for him. He's a two-way forward. Um, Ellis, who's this Ellis guy? Matt Ellis. Now we don't need to play him. We could scratch him as well. He's the lower on the end. So Matt Ellis, and then we could play Thompson. Where are you at, Thompson? There you are. Just want to see if these three-star guys get any better. Okay, so first line we want Atkinson, Camper, and Jack Skilly, uh, Jeff Skilly, I guess. So Carter Camper, yeah, whatever. You can just play up there, your playmaker, why not? Skilly, yep, fine with that. Okay, so Cam Atkinson is really the only person we care about on offense, pretty much. So Atkinson, Camper, and Skilly. Second line, Craig, Boyce, and Bowl, I guess, whatever. Uh, Bass, Shop it, and Trop. Troy Trop, do I want to move him up a line? I'll move Trop up a line and move Bowl down. Jared Bowles not going to get any better. No, he can go on the third line. And then we'll put uh, Jacques, Weinberg, and Thompson together on the fourth. We need to see which one of these guys. Okay, so Tom Weinberg's a right wing. Thompson's a right wing as well. Any of these guys centers? Not really. Shop at a center? Um, he is. Which is why they have him there. Boys, he's a center. Is he a center? I didn't really check. Yeah, he's, he's got good faceless as well. Um, I'm going to move Shop it up a line. Bass. And then I'm going to move... Does Bass or Boyle or Bowl have good face-offs? 60. 60. All right, who has the best face-offs out of these guys? Weinberg has 67. Thompson has 60. And Jock has 60 as well. All right, so Weinberg, you can take face-offs down there. That's fine with me. All right, as long as we get Cam Atkinson and Skilly some, some uh, time there. All right, defense, David Savard, I think that's the only person I care about. Um, maybe this Weber guy, but nah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with it. So McNeil, Savard, uh, Prout, Glaubluff, Denis, Saint-Denis, and uh, Tamor Tamorin, Termini, I don't even know, Taormina, Tamorina, whatever. Uh, so, so power play, Skilly, Camper, and Atkinson, Savard's up there. Okay, good. Uh, Foreman power play, Skilly, Atkinson, Savard, penalty kill, Boyce and Skilly, Shopwood and Bull. Uh, let's get, can we get, I don't think Weinberg is high enough overall yet to have a good defensive category. Alexander Weinberg, no he doesn't, alright, so we'll keep him off there. We'll just play him on fourth line for right now and uh, let the Springfield do what they want. Goaltenders, we want Jeremy Smith playing because I believe Dansk is in the minors, which he is. he's in junior, so we'll let Smith play. Good with McKeenan, and then shootouts fine by me. All right, so all our lineups are set, and uh, we've already been through 25 minutes, so we can get through the first month of simulation. Like I said, I'm expecting this team to tank. Oh, wait a minute, let me update my trading block and turn injuries off. All right, so customize, settings... Rules, let's turn injuries off. 
And I think uh, assistant coach for take goalies, I'll put that on. Because it doesn't matter, really matter for me. Auto sign free agents, no trade difficulty. Yep, everything else is good. Alright, so injuries are off. I think my scout, I need to send my scout out. Alright, so we'll send my scout out. Uh, yeah, and then jersey numbers and shit like that. Okay, so GM options, scouting. Scouting assignment will start in the. Start in the dub. Start in the Canadian leagues and we'll move our way up. Alright, OHL. Do we want to go to OHL first? QMJHL first. Yeah, we'll start in the OHL. Ah, we'll go in the dub first. Go in the dub first for forwards. And trading block. I want to update that. Just put the guys on there who I want to grab. So we'll take off our draft pick. So we'll add on this list. We want to add Nikki and Nikitin. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Did not see him on here. Where's Schultz at? Nick Schultz, Nick Schultz. Oh, it's alphabetical order. Duh. Nick Schultz. And another person I want to maybe add on here. It's kind of old. Uh, yeah, I'll throw Nathan Horton up there. I'll throw Nathan Horton up there just to look and trade offers from them. And that's all I want. I'll commit to those changes. And there we go. Sorry, right, so let's get a month of simulation done. Oops, gotta get the jersey. Ah, fuck the jersey numbers. That really has no point whatsoever. All right, so we'll get a month done. Just see how this team does. Like I said, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to let the simulation run because I know we're going to be a bad team anyway. We got a good defensive team, but we might be able to be a uh, who knows. We could surprise a lot of people. All right, so Wickstrand accepted. I'm not going to play him anywhere because he's a defenseman. There's no room for him, so I won't play him anywhere. I'll just let him sit on the bench. All right, so just get through the season, see how we do. Like I said, really no point of making any changes or anything like that around. Just to see how Columbus does, maybe get a shitty record, maybe get a good draft pick. Who knows, it could surprise some people. We got a lot of good defensive players on this team, so could maybe surprise some people. I mean, we're 2-1-1 one one already to start, but I have a feeling that'll go way down as we uh, continue through the season. Yeah, so as long as we keep losing games, we're fine. Because that's off us five assists, all right, so that's good. 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. Dubes leading the way in assists. One and six capitals, Jesus. It's a shitty way to start. Alright, keep going here. Month of simulation. Month of simulation. Not that really much to talk about. You guys either just watch the simulation go by. Just get our players some uh, experience. And that's all we need to do. Yep, here we go. Now we're piling on the losses. Good, good. Yes, yes. <laughs> Because that's up at six assists already in ten games. It's not bad. Work through loss. That was overtime. And maybe we can go another month. Yeah, we can go another month. We can make this a little bit of a longer one. All right, and go one more month simulating here. Two back-to-back -back games against Pittsburgh. Win that one four to one, and that one. Four to three. Uh, so we take two games from Pittsburgh. Gustetsov now our leading point scorer with 13 points in 13 games. So he's a point of game player of getting Gustetsov is. We'll check out stats as well after this. So the Rangers, not a good team to start off as well. Two to one loss. Five, six, and four. Very good. The Islanders. It's like I said, all I care about is getting our guys some experience and whatnot. All right, so that guy's down to the dub. Go to the QMGH OHL next. Or six weeks. Keep going here. This will be a very quick uh, year one, no doubt. Yeah, 3 12 and 3 Washington. Well, 2 or 4 13 and 4, whatever. 5 8 and 4. Yep. 
Losing some games, that's what I like to see. Have a nice little win in there, but whatever. 5, 10, and 4, that's good. We're tanking the first year, I like it. I like it. 5, 11, and 4. Might be able to get that number one draft pick as well. Yeah, we could be. We could probably get that number one draft pick. I definitely could see us getting that number one draft pick. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, of course it's going to be a good year for rookies. It's the first damn year. <laughs> Our top plus minus on the team is a minus one with Ryan Johansson. That's always good to know. That's always good to see. All right, Toronto, two to four. Yep, just keep losing games, bud. We're going to tank the first year, so. Like I said, Columbus is not a good team. Like, not a really good team, especially now with this new roster update. Now that they don't have Gabrick, it's just not a really good team to uh, to use. All right, five to four win over Edmonton. Like I said, get some wins here and there. Get to boost the team's confidence a little bit. Uh, Three-game winning streak. Well, we had a three-game winning streak to end the month, but not bad. Not bad. Nine and four. Nine, 14, and four to start the year. That's what I like to see. We'll check out uh, stats right now. We are, where are we in the sixth in the Metro? I forgot we're in the Metropolitan Division. So there you go. Uh, goals, Stamkos leading with 22 already. Good Lord. Assists, uh, nobody up there. Obviously, there's going to be none of our players up there. Save percentage, nope, nope. And we're all good. All right, so we'll check out uh, stats just for players so far. Because like I said, there's really no point in looking at team standings because I know we're going to be down the list of everything. All right, just check out how everybody's doing. So forward-wise, uh, Nismov, 18 points in 27 games. Hodgson, 16. Dubinsky, 16. Kuznetsov, 15. Johansson, 14. Horton, 12. Calvert has 8. Jenner, 4. Fratton, 4. Como, 3. Felino 3. Terrell, 3. Okay, not bad for the forwards. Defenseman, DeHaan. Calvin DeHaan leading our defenseman goals with 11 goals, 11 points. Murray, 9. Johnson, 9. Uh, Nikitin with 6. Erickson with 5. And Schultz with 4. Goaltenders, uh, McElhinney started six games, lost one and five. Bobrovsky, eight and ten. Eight, ten, and one, 91.3 save percentage. All right, so as expected, we know the Columbus Blue Jackets would not be a good team to start off. A nine, 14, and four. The Springfield Falcons, on the other hand, are a really good team, 13, three, and three. So as long as our AHL team does pretty good, that's all I care about. That's good for uh, Atkinson and Savard. So we'll let those guys run. Uh, next episode, we'll continue to simulate here. We can maybe even get done. We can probably get to the trade deadline the next episode. So we'll see about that. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe as always. And we'll continue struggling with the Columbus Blue Jackets in the next episode.